Now I'm going to talk about the third chapter of thesis. Sometimes people call it materials and methods because in this chapter you are using methods. Which methods you are using to achieve your objectives? Because in the past chapters you set your objectives. Now how to achieve the, those objectives? You have to use some methods some experimental techniques and materials also means that when you are uh, using method for example electro spinning methods or hydrothermal method or any solution processable method for that method you need materials so one is material here and another is method you need materials for that sometimes people also call this this chapter you can say this is also give the name experimental methods so it is also fine experimental methods but what i understand that the the, the perfect name is the 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 good name is the materials and methods because uh, you can easily see that uh, uh, as i explained that in this chapter you are using uh, methods and uh, you are using uh, materials because uh, what are the materials need uh, to achieve those objectives and what are the methods you use now the question rise that how you will know that which method I have to use oh. the simple answer is from literature from reading people work from reading people papers from reading online articles people done a lot of work 7 billion people are there they are working a lot now so this is the materials and methods for example you are you want to find you want to use nanoparticles or nanofibers uh, in your uh, device so you read papers about that and when you are reading papers so you will see a lot of things so every chapter they, there has an introduction look my introduction it's very nice you must need to change the sentences in your thesis this chapter explains this chapter elaborate this chapter will explain something but this is the best this chapter explains research methodologies adapted in this study you see briefly i'm just talking the readers briefly briefly what i did i am doing synthesis of tenoxide nanoparticles and one dimensional nanostructure such as porous nanofibers and multi-porous nanofibers via hydrothermal this is the method and electro spinning process respectively you see I am telling the readers that I will. I am making the next. I am synthesize. Synthesize means making. You are you are you combining something. This is called synthesis. You are. I am synthesizing tenoxide nanoparticles in one dimensional structure, such as porous nanofibers. When there are pores and multi pores. When there are multi pores. So I am. I am making the. I want to make these materials. This nanostructure. In which method? Using hydrothermal and electrospinning techniques. And I also want to make their composite. The composite, their composite mean that their mean tenoxide. This tenoxide. Their composite with tenoxide. Then the structure. In order to achieve the objective accomplished during this. You see, I told you that the whole game is for objective. You set the problem statement and from that problem you just uh, set the objective how to achieve uh, the objective so when you achieve the objective you already solve the problems various techniques now let's come those are the materials I will for example uh, I, I will use to make these uh, nanoparticles tenoxide so I will need tenoxide material I will simply need tenoxide material the, the precursors the sources from where I will make, make this nanoparticle this is called materials and look now what is what is the methods it start from here uh, this is also methods this method but here now i want to characterize and to know the property of this material so i will use various techniques to study the characteristics of these nanoparticles such as i will use xrd technique this is my method per crystal structure per gas absorption i will use uh, per gas absorption i will use uh, uh, gas absorption study. I will use gas gas absorption study for specific surface area. This is another method. I will use field emission scanning electron microscope 
and I will also use transmission electron microscope per surface morphology. Morphology means the shapes, um, etc. In addition, I will use some procedure to fabricate disensitized solar cell from various neuromorphologies and detail of optical, electrical, and electro, electro, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy technique I will use to characterize them or also explain in detail. You see, I will also use this technique, some electrical property to find resistance in those, and some optical property to find the band gaps and find the uh, those kind of things and find the resistivity and conductivity in this is also used to know the capacitive behavior the resistive behavior etc so these are the techniques i will use to achieve my uh, objectives and this is the introduction of uh, my uh, uh, chapter three and that is the materials and methods it is very clear materials and method means what kind of material you will use and what are the method you will use very simple from where you will know this from literature very simple answer and the next video i will make it more clear thanks for watching